God, you, your mind should be, amen, on God. Before, before you make that decision, you gotta, you gotta think in one day, man, how would God feel about me, amen, if I were to do this? It's got to be, amen, about God because, see, the things of the world isn't gonna prosper us. That's right. The only thing that's gonna last, I know we've been hearing it all our lives, but truly the only thing that's gonna last is what we're gonna do, amen, for God. Yes, sir. And some of us that have gotten a little age on us now, amen, we begin to, to see that thing a little more, amen, that, that, that some things start to happen, amen. And we got to depend on Him. The Bible asks us, what shall separate you from God's love? Mm. As many opportunities that Joshua could have had to have backed away from God, being that slave, bringing back the good report, but yet wandering 40 years. And I'm sure there was other things in his life that if he had to make the wrong decision, he would have turned back on God. But what is it going to, for you, hopefully, there's nothing yes. that will cause you Turn or cause me to be separated from his love. Amen, amen. And he's told us, if you love me, yes. you, 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 you would do something about this thing. Yes. You would keep my commandments. And, and see, the world has twisted this love and has blurred it so that a lot of us are so confused about what love really is. But if we go back, amen, to the word of God and we see that throughout God's word, God declared his love to us and God showed us his love through the things that God does for us. When God would give his only begotten son for a people, for me that did not even know him, did not even love him, wasn't thinking about him, but yet he gave his son, then that's love. Love isn't me feeling good toward you, amen, because I'm not mad at you today. That's right. Because <laughs> some of this love is just, it's a little worn down, amen. You can't, you can't, you can't put no stock in it. But we stand on the love, amen, of God. So what are we going to do with this love that God has shown on us? Share it. Are we going to serve him mm -hmm. as the children of God? Or are we going to continue to walk out our flesh and turn our back? Amen. On him. Because there is a day that's coming where all of us must stand before him and give an account of the deeds, amen, done in our body. And as much as I love my wife, my family, and I can't help them, they can't help me. I've got to stand before God for myself. And what am I going to tell him when he asks me why wouldn't you serve me? Jesus, Jesus. What else are you going to have on the day that you don't make it back home? Not trying to depress nobody, but this is, this is reality. Amen. And we got to be prepared. And this is our season of preparation. To take advantage of these somewhat calm times to prepare for when the trouble come in your life. Because the devil isn't taken in the prison. That, I mean, he, he want to devour you. That means to destroy you. That's what his goal is. And why would we join arms with him when his end goal, amen, is to destroy us. And Bishop was preaching, was it Wednesday or Sunday, he was talking about that airplane on autopilot. Amen. And that, that's, that's what, that's what he'll, he'll do for you. He'll get you going, hit the button, get his parachute, 
and he gone. And as many of you will recall some years ago that it actually happened uh, with this golfer. And they sent jets up to investigate if the, the plane was still flying. And once it ran out of fuel. Amen. So if you don't have Jesus on board, you gonna crash. Can you do a Hezekiah? Can you turn your face to the wall and rehearse your service to God? What are we doing? Serve up. Thank you, Surrender. Submit to God. And watch God. God is our hope. Amen. Amen. God is our hope. The foundation of God is demonstrated in Jesus walking on the board. I won't try. Not unless he bid me to come. <laughs> but even Jesus' ability to walk on the water himself, but the foundation of God is so strong that he can carry us to Jesus. Yes, sir. So why would why would we serve? We thank God, amen. For his word. Amen. 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 Amen.